Hey guys, welcome to the first Eye to Eye Burger Showdown. So we are trying this summer in our off season, a lot of different Austin burger places. We're gonna be going down the list, giving you guys the 411 on what's hot, what's not when it comes to burgers. Yeah, I chose Dan's Hamburgers as the first choice. It was, I've only had it once. It's over here in Lamar uh, uh, in Austin, and I really loved it, but my wife hated it, so that means I couldn't have it again. <laughs> this is my next time I get to have it, is right now. So I'm really pumped. The atmosphere was fucking cool. Yeah. It was like an old school burger joint. Yeah. Right? People were really cool, really nice. Easy to talk to. I actually tried to see if I could get back there and make one of those TikTok videos where they film like each process of a burger and do the... But I mean, you know, if you stick your hand in a deep fryer or yeah, something. You're done. So anyway, I got the double cheeseburger. Unbox that baby. Yeah. There's fucking jalapenos. Did I say jalapenos? I don't care. I'm not even mad, to be honest. That might be a pickle. Right? That's a pickle. So I got the double large curlies. Yeah. I did the curlies as well. Haven't had these in a long time, so I'm looking forward to it. They taste just like Jack in the Box so far. Okay. Had, which is a good thing. And I got the... Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, oh shit. These are like whole jalapenos. Like, Dan's is not that Extra large Coke. Oh, you got jalapenos too? Yeah. God damn it, I should have fucking done that. But this is like whole. Yeah, those are the good ones. There we go. Those are the legit. The big boys. Yeah, baby. So, you know, if I'm just looking at the visual appeal of this, I would say this actually is really nice looking compared to a lot of the burgers that I've seen. It's a burger. They're not trying something to, you know, like they're not trying to be something they're not. Yeah. It's not this big fat patty stuffed with Gouda. But it looks good. That, yeah. That's my point though. It's my double. Looking tasty. Got my my quarter pounder with bacon, jalapenos and everything. Yeah, you got the big guy. Um, yeah. You know, I like my burger just like that. As is. I'll take everything. Every fucking mm -hmm. veggie. Throw it at me, but yeah. I won't do mustard. On a no mustard? Place. That's weird. I go mayo. But uh, I'm right. <laughs> we love mayo, so I don't know. I, I don't know if I've had mayo and mustard, or either or. I just do just one or the other. I think this one has mustard, actually. Yeah. Greasy. So I'm going in for the first bite. Let's see how this... Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Yeah, like a, it's a burger. Yeah, you know, it's just what you want when you want a burger. This is what you think of, you know. It's, it's clean and simple. It's yeah. good. It's delicious. I can taste the cheese, the bacon. The bacon is crispy. You know, you can tell patties just right. Jalapeno oh. gives it a little bit of kick. It oh. Gives it a little bit of kick. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. Patties are perfect. Mm hmm It almost reminds me of a place in San Antonio called Chester's. Mm. You ever heard of Chester's? No. You never really went to San Antonio much, right? No, just a river walk. There's a place in San Antonio also it's called Chester's. If these burgers, dance burgers, remind me of Chester's. Another crazy uncle. So, any of the San Antonio peeps out there, they know Chester's. These taste just like it. Although I, I think Chester's is a little bigger in terms of the size of the burger, but yeah, I mean, aesthetics, it looks nice. It's a burger. Mm. It's like a classic take. Taste-wise, it's good. I mean, you get the texture of all the different things. It's good. And like in the land of Austin where everything is like every, the wheel is reinvented every day with food, oh, right? Yeah. It's like a nothing simple. Places. Everything's expensive. This is a good place to go for all the people who live in Austin who may have just moved here, or maybe have never even heard of Dan's, or have heard of it but never gone. Go to Dan's. They're fucking delicious. It's fresh. Oh yeah. It's a little like the buns, a little soggy, but that's because we were setting up. That has nothing <laughs> to do with Dan's or their cooks. That's not on Dan's. Yeah. It's not Dan's. It's not Dan's, man. But. Where are you at with this burger, Vlad? I'm liking it. I would go back there again. Yeah? I would. It's my first time eating at Dan's. Fresh burger. Good value for money. Size is right. Mm-hmm. 
It's I not really too like, overbearing either, right? No, it's not. And I really like spicy food, so. Mm -hmm. The jalapenos on the burger with the kick. Oh yeah. That's, I'm loving it. That's great. You got bacon too, didn't you, you dirty dog? Oh yeah. Damn it. I always gotta bacon it up. I fucking looked at the menu. I went, I'm gonna get bacon, and I ordered. I forgot the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> How did you first hear about dance? Dude, I have no idea. I think when I first, I don't even think I was living here yet. I was just, I was uh, dating an Italian. I would come up here on the weekends. And I think I just saw it because she was living at these uh, apartments back then too. Mm -hmm. I think I just saw it on the mall. I was always like, I want to go there. It just had like kind of like that draw yeah. to it. You know what I mean? Like an old school, like the big red and white sign. And, um, yeah, that was it. I wonder how long they've been around. You probably 1973. You're shitting me. You know that? Good for you. They had it's it 1973. On the, yeah. They Damn. had it on the little floor maps. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask her and then I saw it and I was like, hmm. That's crazy though. I wonder if that's been the same building the whole time. You know what I mean? Because it looks like an old, like, yeah. don't fuck with my building. <laughs> 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 no, it's not it's an original. Dan's is good. See, the thing is, I've never heard anybody really mentioned dance. That's what I'm saying. That's you know, why I was like very interested. I'm like, I I think it's good. I think I'm a good judge of a burger. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not a fucking like Gordon Ramsay or Anthony Bourdain or anything with food, but burgers, like I'm pretty sure I know a better burger than they do. Yeah. I'm sorry. So what'd you get to drink? Coke Zero. Coke Zero? <laughs> yeah. You got so big. You got the tall make, boy? Uh, yeah. Tall so, boy? What'd you get? You got a regular Coke? I, I got a regular Coke. That's and smart. Then, this is the small size. That's what, that's the European size. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, if they want a Coke or anything not good for you, they get it in small dose. You know what I just realized though? Hmm. Dan's doesn't have a drive through Yeah, I wonder, you know what, I don't know. I think that's... I mean, they do, they definitely don't have that one. I wonder if they do at the other one, mm -hmm. but probably not. Cause like some P. Terry, I think all P. Terry's have a drive through Yeah. I think maybe that's why Dan's isn't as popular as some of the other places. Maybe not as well known, or, or I guess it's not as accessible. Yeah, because folks want to just sit in their car, mm -hmm. drive. They don't want to go in. That's yeah. like a deal breaker for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. Not to get off subject, but did you know P. Terry's has only been around since like 2006? I did not know that. I knew you went to, you went to UT and all that. Yeah. But I had no fucking clue. I thought, to me, that's like, I thought that was like a 60s thing. P. Terry's is a, an interesting one because yeah, they've exploded. Yeah, they embody like a classic, like cool burger stand or yeah. something. Like dry. They even have dog treats when you drive through. Oh, really? Mm hmm Yeah, I like P. Terry's. But not as much as Dan's. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> so we just finished up Dan's. You know, my first time eating Dan's, yeah. I think, what, your second my or third second. time? Second. Second time. Okay. There will be a third. <laughs> so why don't we, you know, we, we've talked about the different factors, right? We got the 70s nostalgia, you know, we got the value for money, we got the fresh ingredients, oh, yeah. you know. So I think it's time to it's time to score this puppy. Yeah, out of five burgers, right? Out of five burgers, yeah, where five is the highest. Yeah. So why don't we both say what our rating is on three? One, two, three. Three, four. And eight. Wow, my rating is higher than yours. Well, because it's the scale. Three point eight is good. That's a great is burger. It yes. Three point eight is a great burger. To me, that's a good burger. Okay. Now, is this the greatest burger in the world? No, but it's a good burger. Okay. So where if you're in a bind, mm -hmm. you got to go here. Like yeah. the, the price, atmosphere, mm -hmm. the feel of the place. Presentation, yeah. As we said, the novelty—it's like a old '70s joint. Yeah. Same building. I loved it. Okay. So three to me, a three point eight is great. Okay. Yeah. So I give it a four because I feel like it's a solid burger. You know, I like the '70s nostalgia. You yeah. know, all the things you mentioned. Plus, I get fresh jalapenos on the burger, which is great. Yeah. And it's you know, it's it's not a small burger. Like I got the quarter pounder. It's you know? a fat. It's it's a fat burger. Yeah. You know, so. I, it's not the best burger no. I've ever tasted, Yeah, but it's solidly good. And see, that's my argument towards a 3.8 being good. Okay. Because it's like the best burger you've ever had, it's like a 5 to like a, a 4.4, right? Yeah. So, that's, uh, that's it. Okay.